Of all the games we saw at the Tokyo Game Show this year, there are a handful of truly great titles that have yet to be announced for release in North America or Europe. They're distinctly Japanese in almost every way, but that doesn't mean they can't appeal to Western audiences, as each features solid gameplay mechanics and personality that can't be beat. Though we can't say for sure that they will or won't be localized, we've certainly got our fingers crossed. Here are a few of our favorite, currently Japanese-only games from the Tokyo Game Show. The social 3DS RPG from Square Enix, Bravely Default Flying Fairy, shares many similarities to classic Final Fantasy games, featuring elaborate summon spells and a complex class system. Friends can share characters via Street Pass to take into battle, but also to rebuild the population of Norende, a relative ghost town within the game's overworld. Square Enix has put a lot of resources and energy into the game, and after five demos in Japan, it's fair to say that they're confident they've got a winner on their hands. Second on our list is the fast-paced, anime-inspired Lost Planet spin-off, EX Troopers from Capcom and Spark Unlimited. It's set in a bright world, backed by a J-pop soundtrack, which may turn off a few gamers, but the speed and fluidity of the gameplay are the real stars of the show. The upcoming Lost Planet 3 is western in almost every sense of the word. Music and weekly messages from the missus kept me company. But as much as that appeals to a particular set of gamers, the same can be said for EX Trooper's light-hearted and fun personality. Lastly, the tactical crossover RPG Project X Zone from Namco Bandai features roughly 200 characters from Namco Bandai, Capcom, and Sega's catalogs. It's a relative who's who of Japanese gaming's history, but fans in the US should have no problem identifying with the enormous cast either, coming from popular series such as Street Fighter, Xenosaga, and Valkyria Chronicles. The action-oriented battle system is easy to use and every character is treated with expressive animations that put the 3DS's stereoscopic screen to good use. As much as we want these games to come out in the West, we want them to maintain their original spirit. Sometimes licenses do get in the way and changes must be made. But we've also seen publishers completely upend a game in the past in order to avoid potentially alienating their audience. Altering games between regions isn't necessarily what fans want. And, in the example of Elite Beat Agents on the Nintendo DS, the end result is unrecognizable to fans of the original. Then again, we've also seen companies like Square Enix give us unadulterated versions of games like The World Ends With You, a fashion-based action RPG set in Tokyo's Shibuya district. Its identity is undeniably Japanese, but that was part of why it worked, as the end result was met with unanimous critical acclaim. The American version of Oendon, Elite Beat Agents, received high marks as well. But after the success of games like The World Ends With You, it's clear we don't have to completely redo a game for fear that its presentation and style might be too foreign for your target market. And this is what we want for Bravely Default Flying Fairy, EX Troopers, and Project X Zone. The core gameplay mechanics can easily stand on their own, and the individual styles, no matter how Japanese, deserve to live on as their creators intended. If Capcom, Square Enix, and Namco Bandai can manage to localize these games with their original content intact, they may be pleasantly surprised to see that they still have an audience in the West who clamors for Japanese games, no matter how different or adorable they may be.